Did you ever wonder about the lifestyle of convict settlers in Australia? My news report is about their everyday lives in England, their difficulties during their journey to Australia and after settling here. Life was very tough in England during the 19th century. Children couldn't even attend school because of less money. People had to be servants to earn a living. Life was very hard in a convict ship. The convicts had to follow certain routines and their sleeping areas were on dirty beds and dirty sleeping mats. The toilets were not even hygienic and there were a lot of insects like cockroaches and rats. Some people even got diseases that were kept in cell-like rooms. This is a map of the journey. They started their journey at Portsmouth in England, Tenerife in Spain, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, Cape Town in South Africa, and then they finally arrived at Botany Bay. The reason why they stopped at those towns were to get food, rest, and supplies, but they didn't really get what they wanted. The rules that the convicts had to follow on the ship were routines and instructions, like the deck to be swept up, doing cooking, and washing utensils. The convicts had to follow different routines in the colony, like farming, going to church, and shoveling. The male and female convicts would only get meat one LB per day, and it wasn't enough for them. The convicts didn't try eating any native plants because they didn't know about any edible ones at that time, but they did eat native animals. The clothes that they had to wear were normal and they only could wear one piece of clothing for pants and shirts. The convicts didn't get any free time. Convicts also had to go to church as it was compulsory. Bad behaviour was punished and good behaviour was rewarded. Convict life was like for orphan children and it was worse being a child than an adult. This is Fidel Muhammad again on Year 5 channel and I will see you another time. Thank you.